everybody just wanted to show you how to create a quick nest okay so or a nest project so basically I'm always in this window um, here's where I keep my parts my sheets remnants if I'm using remnants and tracking and here's all my completed nests when I'm done okay so basically I just come in and I'll go new project Right, so now I'm at a clear blank state. So I want to pull in some DXFs. I'm just going to grab some DXFs here. I, I can bring one in at a time if I want, or I can bring in a whole slew of them. I'm probably going to bring in a few of them. open so it's loading all my DXFs in here while it's loading all these DXFs it's creating the RADAN part file okay just like any other software it'll have a part file so here I've got quantities of one okay so I'll have to adjust the quantities here if I wanted to do more than one I can click on them individually okay so I can also change material grain orientation right um, I have an output folder where I save all my files once I've processed them. Here I'm just going to give them a quantity of two each, right? And then I can come down here and you'll see it'll update all those parts. Just import those. Now this should take a second. I must have grabbed a ton of the files. You can see here's all my part files. Should have pulled in all my sheets, but if I don't have any sheets, or if you don't have any sheets in here, just um, I'll just get rid of those. You can always hit this guy here: update sheets from uh, list from current parts. So if they're all different materials, it'll pull in all your standard sheet sizes. Okay. From here, I should be able to kick off the auto nesting because here I've got auto nesting turned on where it's going to tool it, sequence it, generate the NC code, and done. Okay, so we'll just hit run the nester and away we go. Okay, so well, this nest, let me take a minute to explain to me. I wouldn't jump into running auto nest on everything until you're comfortable with using the software okay if it, if you are new to the software haven't really used it you know you want to be able to run through each stuff create a nest tool the nest sequence the nest generate the NC code instead of doing it automatically this way it gives you a better understanding of the Radan software and how Radan works. So if you were to jump in 
to auto nest him straight away, you would probably come against a problem in one of your files or one of your parts you get from a customer and it could be a problem. Well, if it's not working in auto nesting, you need to go back and see why isn't it working in auto nesting, okay? So that's why I always recommend you go through each step so you know each step thoroughly before you just um, run the automation. So you can see here I've got my nest all done, green light, check marks, all good. All those parts are nested. A green light here to say nest status is okay. This is a current nest in the window. Remember Radan supports drag and drop. You see if I click on profiling right now you'll see I've got a remnant where I've created. Right. If I wanted to sequence it or change a sequence or just simulate it, I'm going to play from the first line and simulate that just to see what it looks like when it's cutting before I get it to the machine. All right. And then we've got our compile. I had it on automatic, but if you didn't do automatic, you'd have to come in here and go in here, add your tooling, go to order, sequence your order, then come into compile and generate your NC program. There'll be a couple of questions probably, but once you've done that, you can save those to the default so it remembers. Okay, we're done. Then I can view my NC code. I can then um, save my NC code if I wanted to and save it somewhere on my PC or whatever file extension it'll be set up as. And then you can come in. Here's a cover sheet if you need a cover sheet and here's your setup sheet. But I tend to come back into here where I'm in nesting and modify. Okay. And I will run the nest reports. This will take a second because I'm, I'm capturing a lot of data about my nest, my parts I've nested, the quantities, um, sizing of the parts, sheet utilization, tooling, any remnants, full remnant tracking. I'm, I'm putting this all in my data here. And you can see I've got a report here called production software. It's generating the report right now. And with these reports, you can save them as PDF files, XML files, CSV files. You can save them, send them to whoever you want to see the report. Or you can save it as a PDF somewhere so the guys on the shop floor can open it. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll give this a few seconds. So pretty quick and simple to create a nest in Radan. Um, but if you do have any questions, you want to call your local Radan guys there and ask them for any help. Here you can see, here's my setup sheet. And then we get down to my parts. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and um, see you around.